what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It's a miracle. Tiger Woods spoke out on a social issue. I can't believe it, but not too fast. Tiger's comments in the wake of George Floyd's murder reminds us why people like him should just keep their mouths shut and stay off the internet. Here's what Tiger tweeted on June 1st regarding George Floyd's death and the subsequent protest. My heart goes out to George Floyd, his loved ones, and all of us who are hurting right now. I have always had the utmost respect for our law enforcement. They train so diligently to understand how, when, and where to use force. This shocking tragedy clearly crossed that line. I remember the LA riots and learned that education is the best path forward. We can make our points without burning the very neighborhoods that we live in. I hope that through constructive, honest conversations, we can build a safer, unified society. He should have just said Negroes behave. What a spineless and pointless statement. Has absolutely no bite. He straddled the fence the whole time. He just wanted to say something. That's one of those type of statements. He just wanted to say something, just like Jordan. I think they all got the memo, look, this is big. This is historical. You must say something so that you'll be on record for speaking out. This ain't necessarily speaking out, though. This is just, this is just a comment. It has absolutely no heart, no passion whatsoever. Just played it really, really safe. Remember, fam, when I told y'all how these tap dancers will say a little truth when they're speaking about black issues? They'll say a little truth, and then they go in top heavy on the criticism. And this dude's, in this dude's case, he goes in on crediting law enforcement. Like they got some hell of a training and, and that what they did to George is some type of one-off or something that happens rarely. I got the utmost respect. I don't have the utmost respect for our law enforcement. You got to bring some ass to get some where I'm from. You don't just get respect and be disrespectful or show no respect. That, that don't work where I'm from. I don't know where some of y'all are from. But where I'm from, you got to bring some ass to get some ass. You cannot be disrespectful to people and get respect. In fact, you can get killed before you get respect. How do you have the utmost respect for law enforcement? After seeing all of this murder and mayhem, all of the thieving, the raping, the planting of evidence, the murders, the lying, how do you have the utmost respect? If anything, he, if he's going to use respect, he should have said, well, I have the utmost respect for what law enforcement is supposed to be like. But what it is and what it's supposed to be or at least what they say it's supposed to be like, is two different things. Some might argue that it is what it is, and it's doing exactly what it was designed to do. There's nothing wrong with the current judicial system. Law enforcement is working exactly how it was intended to, and that is to marginalize a certain group of people. That is to create chaos, division, war. 
if it wasn't for the police, the Crips and the Bloods would not still be at odds. You wouldn't have the Vice Lords and the GDs and the Latin Kings and all of these different gangs beefing. They wouldn't be beefing with each, with, with, with each other and they would not be beefing with those within their groups. The police create the chaos, fam. They keep it going. They like the anarchy. They love it. All of this talk about keeping the peace, they lie, fam, because they do the opposite. They could keep the peace. They could create a more cohesive relationship between police and community, but they don't, and they don't want to do that because ain't no action in keeping the peace. Ain't no money in doing the right thing. Ain't no money in not robbing the drug dealers. Ain't no fun in not beating up teenage black boys and Hispanic boys, Puerto Ricans. Ain't no money in that. Ain't no fun in it for the uncivilized. Now, I do agree that there needs to be officers working in the communities they serve or supposed to serve. That's that, at the very minimum, these officers should not be living out of town and working in another town. They should be, police officers should be hired from, from the communities that they serve. Because think about what I'm saying, fam. If they are not, then they are more likely to shoot it up. They're coming in contact with people that they don't know. They're going to be less empathetic towards anything, any kind of tragedy. Whether it be some domestic situation, whether it be gang related, or whether it be some type of police engagement. They're just going to be a lot less empathetic. In fact, I won't even say less empathetic because most of them don't have empathy, period. It's not even a character trait. I'm telling you what I see. And I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard. You know, Tiger plays golf with the Tangerine Tornado. This is the guy in the White House who is supposed to be trying to bring everybody together, give people hope. He's supposed to be trying to calm the storm. He's doing anything but. He's out there using divisive rhetoric and trying to incite violence. It's like he wants a civil war. Tiger Woods, this dude is pitiful. It's always been that type of dude that you're like, eh, eh. He is more angry when someone is trying to take a photo of him on his backswing. Remember when Elon caught Tiger cheating and almost tore the entire neighborhood up? Same energy as the looters. No more talk. What the haters talking about?